This is day 41 in the Gaza-Israel war. I'm Yair Pinto, reporting to you from Israel. During the night, IDF aircrafts targeted the house of Ismail Hania. Ismail Hania is the leader of Hamas, the terror organization that controls the Gaza Strip. He's the equivalent of a prime minister or a president. Whatever he decides goes when you're talking about the actions that Hamas is taking. The IDF revealed intelligence that his house was used as a terror infrastructure to coordinate and plan terror attacks against Israeli civilians and against the IDF. Moreover, during attacks that the IDF conducted in the past 24 hours in the Shati neighborhood in the Gaza Strip, the IDF revealed a command station of Hamas's naval forces that included scuba gear, vests, and other military equipment that was used to carry out terror attacks against Israel from the sea. On top of that, the IDF uncovered multiple weapon stockpiles in the area. Every day the IDF is gaining more control inside the Gaza Strip and dismantling slowly the terror infrastructure of Hamas. Today in Jerusalem, the capital of Israel, a terror cell launched a terror attack against Israeli civilians at a checkpoint leading from Judea and Samaria into the Jewish capital. The terror cell were inside a vehicle that was driving from the West Bank area, the city of Hebron, into the heart of Jerusalem. They stopped at the checkpoint and opened fire towards the vehicles that were lining up in that particular location. Six Israelis were wounded, one of them severely, in this attack. IDF forces at the scene were able to neutralize all the terrorists. It's important for me to explain this. The city of Hebron, from which these terrorists came and planned to carry out the attack against Israel, is located 30 minutes from Jerusalem, 30 minutes from my house. Just imagine that from a city next to wherever you live, a terror cell is planning to carry out an attack against random civilians in your town. This is the reality that we here in Israel need to live with. In the northern front against Hezbollah and Lebanon, the fighting continues as IDF fighter jets targeted specific locations that have significant military capabilities to carry out attacks against Israel. This attack was different from other attacks that were carried out in retaliation to Hezbollah's attack against Israel. The IDF is locating and targeting the areas that are significant to Hezbollah's operations against Israel and striking them in advance, preventing Hezbollah from using them whenever it sees fit. The fighting in Israel is very complex, as you see. We have multiple fronts in the north, in the Gaza Strip, in Judea and Samaria, in the south, and also from Yemen. Every day that passes, we listen to the radio and we hear names of fallen IDF soldiers. Some of them are very young, aged maybe 19, 20 years old. Others are above the age of 30, such as, such as me that are joined the army as reserve units, leaving their families, their jobs, and putting on a uniform. This is very hard, and I would ask you to pray for the families of these heroes that risk their lives in order to save us. But there is hope that we will win this war and that we will create a better future for our children, for our sons, for our daughters and we believe that God has a plan for the state of Israel so please join us in prayer 
pray for the peace of Jerusalem.